Good evening, fellow travelers, and welcome to Exit Through the Gift Shop. Today's video is about the Undersea Gardens in Newport, Oregon. Immediately after we visited the Undersea Gardens, this attraction actually closed as part of the renovations that are happening in that downtown Newport area, along with the renovation of the Ripley's Believe It or Not and the Waxworks. Those two attractions will reopen sometime next year. Unfortunately, the Undersea Gardens is going to close permanently. Let's take one final look and remember this classic attraction, the Newport Undersea Garden. The Undersea Gardens also has divers which venture into the exhibit every couple of hours. Unfortunately, we missed them by about 15 minutes, so we're left uh, watching the sea life. Where'd he go? I thought I saw, here, here he is. There's a dogfish, probably about four feet long. Here's a sturgeon, working its way along the bottom. And there's another dogfish. There's actually a few in here. There's a big old rockfish right here, sitting on the bottom. And a rather large rockfish of some sort. This is a rather brave guy as he's just lounging in the middle of that crab trap. All right, buddy, there's no need to get crabby. And touch some sea creatures in the tidal pools. The steel structure of the Oregon Undersea Gardens was actually built in 1966. Oh, there's the diver. Looks like he might have gotten himself into a little bit of trouble. The Undersea Garden seems to be in a bit of disrepair. It's okay as part of the combo ticket that comes with the Wax Museum and Ripley's Believe It or Not, but I wouldn't consider it a destination on its own. Even more fun is right next door where you can watch the sea lions basking. Check out our interactive map so you can see other aquariums that we've been to and please remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on all our latest adventures. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.